do a quick walkthrough using Samurai WTF and getting it set up on VMware as well as getting Burp set up so that way it's actually working with Chrome to be able to intercept because that's why we're using Samurai WTF, right? It's a web testing framework. So obviously we want it to be able to work and sometimes out of the box, it doesn't work like we expect. So I'm gonna go a quick walkthrough of how we can go about getting Samurai WTF and then getting it into VMware and then being able to set up Burp and Chrome so they actually work together um, so we're ready to go to test. So let's take a look at how we can first get it. The first thing we need to do is go out to github.com slash samurai WTF slash samurai WTF. That's going to give us the GitHub page where we can do the download. Now there's a few different ways that we can download this and install it. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see down here the initial install section. Now I chose to do OVA. Um, so basically we're just importing the OVA virtual machine file into our system. Now this works with VirtualBox, it works with VMware, um, works with most of your virtualization software. So here I'm using VMware and you know typically a lot of the tutorials out there actually show using VirtualBox and they talk in here that a lot of their testing has actually been done on VirtualBox. So I wanted to show using VMware for this. So all we have to do is basically go to this HTTPS colon slash slash tiny.si slash samurai link and that's going to download the OVA file for us. Once we get that OVA file downloaded and it may take a little bit, I think it's about 2.3 gigabytes. Once we get that downloaded, then we're going to bring it into our VMware. So here we can see that I've got the file downloaded already and it's just this OVA file and you can see, oh, it shows a size of four gigs uh, sitting out there on disk. And then here I have VMware open up and really just to install it. Now I've already got it running right here, but to install it, all we have to do is go up to the file menu and then do import. And then it's going to allow us to select that file, right? And we just go to our downloads file and select that file. And then we continue on through each of the steps to import it. Now I already did it, but all you have to do is just keep clicking continue basically and it'll bring you in. I did run into one little hiccup going into this where when it went to start to install it, it said there was a problem with the OVF file and it asked if I wanted to try again. It said, if you cancel, it'll just drop you out. If you try again, it could make it so you can't use the OVA file. I went ahead and did try again and it worked uh, and everything installed successfully and it was all fine. So I didn't see anything wrong with doing that. It seemed to work, but if you do get that error message, um, you know, go ahead and try the try again and it should install it. Once you've got it all installed and it takes a few minutes for it to fully unpack that file, then you'll have it sitting in here and you can just double click it and it'll fire up your VM. Now, once we get that VM fired up, let's switch over and look to see what it looks like over here. Now you'll go through a whole bunch of initialization process and then you'll get to the login screen. The password and username are just Samurai Samurai. Here I've already logged in, so I'm just gonna use the password. And if this is something you're going to load on your normal systems uh, or into a network where other people are, you might want to change the, the username or password or both. Uh, so that way somebody doesn't just stumble across this system and all of a sudden have access into it. Now, Samurai groups everything together. So all the stuff that we want to use with Samurai is all going to be under this menu system here for Samurai WTF. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fire up Burp. So we'll go ahead and we'll click the Burp Suite tool and we'll let that go ahead and load up. Now, we're not gonna go ahead and do the update right now. We'll just close that. And then we're just gonna use a temporary project and we'll use Burp's defaults just cause we wanna make sure everything's configured properly. So this will fire it up. We'll get Burp up and running and then we'll start going into getting Chrome up and going once this is done. All right, so we can see our project comes up. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the proxy tab right here and then notice right here, intercept is on. So I wanna make sure that that's off. By default, when you first load this VM, intercept is going to be on. Uh, and that causes a lot of problems the first time with people going because they try to load their website and nothing happens. So the first thing, let's go ahead and turn intercept off. And then I'm just gonna click the history tab. So that way I can see when things are actually coming through. Now, typically what we do is we just come in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go back to Samurai WTF. I'll go ahead and open Chrome. And we'll see here, Samurai WTF comes with some vulnerable apps already on it, which is, makes it such a great system for us to work with. 
So we can see that we got things like Dojo Basic here. So we can just click on it. We can see a little website comes up. But as you can see over my burp window, it's not coming through at this time because I haven't configured the proxy to be used yet. Now there's two different ways that we can configure the proxy. When I first came in here, it's been a while since I've used Samurai WTF. Uh, you know, I tried going in to the little uh, hamburger patty here and then doing settings and you could scroll down and then we go to advanced, right? And there's a way that we can actually open proxy settings here. But notice that it says Foxy Proxy Standard is controlling this setting. So we're actually using an add-in. So they've already installed this for us. So we don't have to worry about configuring it through here. Great, that's perfect for us. So let me just go ahead and close out settings. We don't need that. Now, here's our Foxy Proxy item right here. And if you left click on it, you can see, okay, well, use default for all URLs. Perfect. I'll go ahead and click it. I'll refresh my page. But wait a minute, I still don't have anything coming up here. So what we have to do is Foxy Proxy is installed, but it's not configured yet for Chrome to actually use the proxy. So what we have to do is we have to right click on the Foxy Proxy icon and then go to options. And then we'll see here's our default that we just set it to, but notice there's no IP address or port number set. So we select it, edit selection, and then just like we would normally configure our proxy, we'll go ahead and hit manual proxy configuration. And then we can come in here and put in our address 127.0.0.1, our port 8080, because that's what Burp listens on by default. You can actually see it, I'll show you in a second in Burp where that is. So we got that set up and we can hit save. All right, perfect. So now Foxy Proxy is enabled. And let's go ahead and refresh the page one more time. And now see, we actually get our get request. We can see our response. So now we're actually sending our traffic through the proxy from Chrome. And before I mentioned, you could see what port it's running on. If we click the options tab, you can see proxy listeners. We can see that it's on 127.0.0.1 and it's listening on port 8080. So when you first get this VM and you want to get it all set up and you want to start intercepting, there's just a few little steps that you have to go through to make sure that everything's set up properly to be able to intercept that traffic. So I hope this helps you get that set up and then this will help us as we go forward looking at other features within the virtual machine that's available.